Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> My name is Jason Allen. I'm a realtor based in Palm Springs, California. And I like to do these Monday market moments to give you an overall sense of the market in one of the cities that I work in. And I'll be frank, I'm traveling this week. So I um, don't have my studio set up and I got some kind of funky earphones on to make them work with this computer that I brought with me. And we're gonna get through this. Uh, if you have any questions at any time, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Today is Rancho Mirage. So as I like to do, I'm gonna share my screen and here we go. We're gonna dive right into the numbers. So for those of you that aren't familiar with our area as well as say I am or others might be, Rancho Mirage is two towns to the east of us. Many people think that's south. It's actually southeast, but primarily east. So it goes Palm Springs, then Cathedral City, then Rancho Mirage. And what I do is I start with single family dwellings first, then I go into condos. And the unit sales for single family homes, 35. That's up about 17% versus February of 23. Median sales price is down 3%. So again, that's comparing this February with last February. Inventory is up 16% to 146 housing units. Days on market is 70. So that's up about 11% over a year ago. Sales to list price, and then there's sales to original list price. I'll break these down very quickly. In the case of sales to list price, sellers are seeing about 96% of what they're asking if they haven't had a price reduction. And that's actually up almost a percentage over February 23. In the case of sales to original list price, that's a little different. So in those cases, what we're seeing is about 7% off of the original sales price. So in other words, they've had at least one price reduction. And then if we skip down, sales above list price at 23%, that's down 24% from a, February of 23. In other words, of these houses here that sold within 30 days, 29% uh, sold within 30 days, 23% of those got over the asking price. We're at four and almost a half months inventory. That's more houses compared to a year ago. And the median sales price per square foot is actually up 11.5%. So although we're seeing more houses come on market and we're seeing houses getting less than, on average, less than what they originally asked, you're seeing a price per square foot that's going up. That suggests to me that we have a number of smaller homes that are being sold, smaller house, higher price per square foot. And then again, 29% sold within 30 days, 51% sold within 60 days, 71% sold within 90 days. And then you have almost a full 29% that don't sell within 90 days. They may not sell at all. They may still be on the market. They may get pulled from the market. I'll go over to condos now. Unit sales, 23. So that's up significantly. That's 77% more than sold were sold last February. Um, median sales price up significantly as well. And the inventory is down. So supply demand. Supply demand is really what it comes down to. Days on market, 59 days. Uh, that's unchanged from last year. About a seven, uh, excuse me, 97% uh, return on the price. So if they had no price reductions within and sold within 30 days, that's what you're seeing about 97% of the original ask price, closer to 95, 96 if they took at least one price reduction. 30% of the homes are being sold within 30 days. And, or excuse me, 30% of the homes are being sold above ask price and 39% are selling within 30 days. We have just about four months supply of inventory. Median sales price per square foot is down, but not significantly. And then we're still seeing about 17% of the homes that don't sell within 90 days. Now I'm going to skip over to this other set of charts that I like to show everyone. And this comes to me from Chicago Title. Uh, 
What I wanna show you here, and let's make sure we're on houses. We are on houses. Uh, they're suggesting it's a slight seller's market. This is virtually unchanged over the last year and a half. Uh, what we see down here when we break this into, so I can show you the whole market, or by quartile segments, you can see where the higher end in Rancho Mirage is selling. And that doesn't surprise me. Uh, the other three quartiles, moving along, no radical change there. We had a price reduction back in 2022, spring of 2022, and that's leveled out. And we see slight gains, but no big jump. Large houses, though, however, that is significant. Um, I always scroll down here. You can pause your screen. You can look at the detail a little bit more. Let me go over to condos very quickly. And in the condo market, we're starting to see that it's still a strong seller's market. Um, we bump down here. These four quartiles, as we break them down, not changed a lot, although it does appear that the lowest end, the lowest quartile, is starting to trend down. Um, my guess is that as prices overall have increased over the last five years, four years, and most notably during COVID, uh, you're seeing prices on everything having gone up. And in this lower condo quartile around the two to 300 mark, they tend to be very small units at this point, whereas you used to be able to spend 300, 350, and you might get a two or three bedroom condo. Today, it's more like a one bedroom, uh, maybe a two bedroom, but the second bedroom is pretty small. So it doesn't surprise me that at this level, we're starting to drop off a little bit. Those prices may have to adjust and come down a bit more before we start to see that inventory pick up and get sold. Um, so that's it. That's all I got. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Overall, I would say the market is very healthy. Uh, buyers do have more choices. It, buyers are far more price sensitive. This has been a theme that I've been repeating. If the property is in any way uh, deficient, maybe it needs new flooring, it needs to be painted, the landscaping is poor, buyers will want to see the price reflect that. And if they don't see it at the gate, they're going to ask for it in a repair request. If the AC is 15 years old, they're going to say, we want a new AC out of this, or we want a $15,000 price reduction, or we want a credit so that we can buy a new AC, as an example. Um, if you have any questions about this stuff or any questions about real estate in general, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm available on WhatsApp, direct phone number. You can call me at 760-325-1900. Uh, or you can shoot me an email or leave me a comment in the notes below. That's all I got. Have a great day and I will be back in my office next week.